Well, hot dog! We're halfway through summer here. We're on Harlem Avenue, Payless Heights, for their 20th annual car show. Can you 20, believe it, James? 20 years, can't believe it. Look at the turnout tonight, Clem. What do you think? Well, first off, we had a wonderful meal at one of the many businesses that's part of the Payless Chamber of Commerce. It was amazing. and. I think this is the most amount of people I've ever seen over here. How about yeah, you, James? I, I think uh, I think we have a record going on here. Uh, I don't have a car count yet, but if this crowd is any indication, it's out of sight. I'm not gonna lie. I had a drink or three beforehand, and like I want to talk about all the memories of the past years. But how about we get into the present right now? Let's see what cool rides are around here, cool people, and see what other fun surprises we find. And cool music too. That's right, because you never know what you're gonna do when you're hanging with Clem. So grab some food, grab a drink, and we'll see you. You're hanging with Clem on Harlem Avenue for the 20th annual Payless Heights Car Show. Okay, caught up on the great display of Buick 70 GSs here. And I thought to myself, who knows the most about Buicks, right? It's Bob. Who knows most about this show? It's Bob. So, Bob, how you doing today? I'm still here. Yeah. <laughs> Amen, brother. Yeah. Amen. Hey, 20 years? Is 20 that years I've been doing the show. Wow, this God is, bless you. It's the 20th show. It's 19 years, but you count the first year, so it's 20 years. Okay. 20 shows. And I know Buicks are close to your heart, and right. we have a beautiful collection of GSs back here. Right. What gave you the inspiration and idea for this set, uh, set, set up? So a lot of guys have been buying the Buicks around here lately. Okay. And I've always been a Buick with it. One of this, uh, the bamboo cream one is mine. Really? Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, and they came up and I brought up talking. I had 10 uh, GSs that come out here. So we, ju we decided to do GSs this year. I pick out the theme every year. Last year was Mustangs. The year before right. that was Corvettes. I mean, I do a different thing where I can figure out I get the most cars up, and it cars. and it keeps it fresh, right. and it, and your crowd loves it. Right. So. Uh, and then this year, uh, uh, I have some very high end uh, Trapani cars. Okay. And that's Voodoo Larry's car over there, the the Mercury. That's Voodoo Larry's car. He wanted to come out to the show. Okay. You know, we'll have to go over there and take a look at it. Yeah. Uh, and like I said, then I got the high end Packards, a Duesenberg. Saw that up A front. Cadillac B16, wow. and then. Uh, from Crown Buick Collection, uh, that was, you know, was here in Palos Heights, the dealership. Right. It's sitting out front. The son still owns it. It's the last car of the collection, the '32 Buick. Wow. But that was in the Crown Buick Collection. Sorry about the phone. That's okay. But it goes off all day long. <laughs> I, can, I can see how. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad we got it for more than two minutes. Yeah. We. I, I just want to throw one more thing. We talked off camera about this '69 Camaro. I know the owner's not here. Right. But it's a beautiful story of a family generational car right. this beautiful orange SS behind us can you just run us through that real fast uh, the, the uh, woman that owns the car right now it was originally her gra uh, her grandmother's okay and then the father had the car for a few years and then she had just inherited the car wow. but it's you know, grandmother to granddaughter beautiful generational right. thing and at that, I'm going to let him go because the phone's going to ring again any second, I'm sure. No. I'm going to grab a hand. Thank you. Another success. Right. Thank Please you. don't ever give it up. Nobody could do it like you. No. And wait, wait. We got a. Uh, I do want to shake oh, your hand. Shake it's hand. been a okay. pleasure to have AC Ridey out here for many of these years. And here's to uh, another 20 years. Uh, okay. I, I'll be lucky if I survive this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations, I'm nonetheless. Hard time, you know, so. okay. My days are numbered because of my health. Okay. Yeah. God bless you. We, we pray right. for you. Right, okay, soon. take you care. Fun time you. coming at right. Payless Heights Car Show. Right. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're looking again at some of these beautiful concourse cars, these GSs, and one really stood out, and it's parked in a very special spot. We're going to find out more about it. And the owners are? Fred Onesto and Mia Onesto. Okay, Mia and Fred. Bring us through this car. How long have you had it? 
A little over three years. It was actually okay. uh, my COVID project. I, I bought it right when COVID locked everything down. What part of the country did it come from? It's an Illinois car. Excellent. Originally wow. Waukegan, Jack Winters Buick out of Illinois. Okay. Uh, the original owner, great guy. He had posted on Facebook and he lived in Eagle River, Wisconsin. Well, wow, it's pretty far north. Yeah. So I saw the car, I called him that day and I said, I want the car. Oh, for sure. And uh, drove up eight and a half hours, looked at it, drove it, made him an offer. And he's like, no, that doesn't work out for us. So I'm like, fine, let me know. Drove eight hours home, same day. Wow. And uh, called me two weeks later and said, wow. you still want the car? And I'm like, absolutely. So he had it set up more as a show car. Everything was chromed. Everything was painted yellow, the whole engine compartment. So I uh, had so much time working from home. Body took the body off the frame, oh, redid boy. the engine, it's, it's interior, gorgeous. and kind of tore it all down and put it all back together. It's, uh, been, can you, it's been a blast. Uh, can you run me through the drive frame real fast? It's a 455, uh, four speed, pretty rare, one of I think 81. Oh, it's because it's a non-stage. It's a non-stage one too. Yeah. So I that makes it a little bit. Yeah. The back there. The, so GSX non-stage GSX, one. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it runs great. It's a blast to drive. Okay. I love it. Uh, and uh, the Ram Air is all functional there, right? Everything's factory, right? functional. Pretty, pretty much it's all original. You know, some aftermarket parts here and sure, there, but sure. it's all done to original specs and everything. My hat's off to the way you guys rebuilt this. You know, this. Uh, the other thing I was going to ask the uh, rear and gear ratio what, about what? 373? 342. Really? Yeah, if it was a stage, it'd be a 364, but it's non-stage, so it's a 342, no it, non-AC car. Okay, yeah. yeah, I noticed that too, I didn't see any coils up there. Yeah. Uh, wow, very impressive. Uh, when you're in fourth gear, is it and about doing 60, about 60? Say about 60, I'm at about uh, 2,500 RPM. Okay, not, that's not too bad. It's, it's a little bit more streetable than a 364 would be a little bit funner. Well, yeah, yeah. first and second gear, yeah. you throw you back in the seat a little bit. You see but it does, yeah. already about <laughs> it, uh, It's got a lot of torque. The heads were done, the stage one specs, the car was done. Okay. So pretty much cam, stage one cam. It's board over, 30 over, 11, uh, 11 and a half to one. Compression. Okay, last so, question for you guys. Do you uh, have an opportunity to make a lot of shows during the show season that we're yeah, in now? We do cruises, so that's how we met Bob, the host okay. here. We were at uh, Le Mans cruise night. He's like, hey, bring your car up. We're like, absolutely. So uh, okay. this, this is awesome. So it's pretty okay. cool. Well, my hat's off to you guys. Thank you. It's off the top. It's a showstopper. Look at the people around it. Just even <laughs> look at you know. So enjoy every time you All bring right. this car out. Appreciate it. Okay, Thank stay you. with. All right. Bye now. These guys just grabbed me right off the street. I yeah, we did. We said, come over here right now. She said, I'm getting into it with my mom right now. Oh. You done? Okay. Sure. Are we good? Uh, boss, are we good? You've been rolling all this time. Are you sure you want time. to do this? Why my car? Well, you're among a lot of you with GSs, and we thought, hey, it's a GM, and it's a Chevy. And okay. All right. Take the notoriety I see, I see like a Dominator on it. All right. Okay. Okay, so, alright, let's, uh, just the transmission alone I gotta ask you about. It's a Lanco. It's okay. Yeah. Alright, we're rolling already, so we're starting rough. This is Ted, I just met him, right Ted? How you doing? Yes, my name is Ted Borman. Okay, Ted, how long have you had this Supernova? Uh, I finished it, like, last spring. Okay. So, last year, spring. Okay. And it was on the road for about a half a season, and I was having kind of some problems with it, and I had to pull the motor out, and it's back on the road again. It's only been on the road for about a month. Okay. So. Uh, I didn't look, get shot solid under the hood. I know you got a big carburetor on there. Is that, is that a big block? It's got a 565 cubic inch big block Chevy. It okay. made just under 900 horsepower on the dyno, and it's pump gas, one carburetor. Wow. Yes, on pump gas. Is that like a 85 or something? Just regular gas, 93 octane. At the pump. Okay, unbelievable, unbelievable. Why that choice of Lenko transmission? Um, it's got a, it's got a Lenko transmission in it. Um, you want to come around with the camera and take a look at the levers on this? 
it's a pretty exotic it's actually a whole transmission people think it's just like a shifter yeah but it's a whole transmission the transmission was actually in a funny car yeah. a blown alcohol Hemi funny car um, they put those transmissions in funny cars pro stocks pro mods it's just a full blown race transmission yeah. right. yes pretty dur durable and reliable they're good for about 5,000 horsepower okay that's what they say Okay. Now you mentioned the horsepower. You mentioned the trans. Let's talk about that rear end. What? How tall? It's is got the gear? a Dana 60 in it with wow. 354 gears. Okay, I was gonna guess it's like a 12 volt Chevy, but you no, it's got a Dana 60. So a 12 volt Chevy is a 8.625 ring gear, and then right. a Ford 9 inch is a 9 inch ring gear, and a Dana 60 is a full 9 and 3 quarter inch ring gear. It's just, it's just huge. Okay. It's just huge, and uh, it's just old school definitely is because I used to know a lot of guys uh, running bracket racing years ago used to swap out put a Dana in anything special with the axles um, it's a full it's actually a full brand new build from strange uh, okay. axle to axle okay. so they call it a, they oh, call man, it an s60 okay so it's got you know heavy-duty axles and it's also got a Detroit locker in it okay with the Molly drive shaft that sounds bulletproof to me man I don't know not a whole lot of guys run Dana 60s anymore, but it was, this car is kind of like a vintage style street racer, kind of a street machine build, you right, know, with the, right. with like the old school hubcaps and the Lenko tranny and everything That was like one that. of the things that attracted me to it, something about just the setup with the steel wheels and the hubcaps yeah. like that. It looked old school, again, too, the, the finish. The vinyl top still on it. Everything, everything looks so tight, yeah, it so has nice. A ten coats of House of Color show car clear. Wow. Baked in a booth, okay. you know, blocked in a rotisserie on a rotisserie. I do all the work. I do all the body work. I do the engine building. I do the wiring. I do the vinyl tops. I put the glass in. I put the moldings on. I do the paint. I do. I fabricated the three, the three and a half inch exhaust all the way back. Yeah, I was watching the it behind the inlet outlets by the tires. There. Three and a half inch. I fabricated all that just out of mandrel bent sections. Dude, I am blown away. I, that's why I walked up to your cold. I thought there's something here. Oh, there's thank something you. Here. Uh, last thing, do you have a, a regular tank or a fuel cell back there? It's just got a regular stock tank, and if you look under the hood, it's just a it's just a muscle car deal. There's no electric fans. There's no electric water pump. Yeah, I'm looking no at that. It, it's like a clutch, clutch fan on it's there. It's got just the factory big. It's like a factory big block setup, basically, yeah. with the big block core support, you know, clutch fan. There's no real tricky hardware other than it's a really big, 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 badass big block Chevy with a really trick tranny. Okay. And last question, two, I have two final questions. One, uh, is it all steel except for maybe the hood or something? Everything is steel. I just still haven't finished the hood. Oh, I have okay. the hood. Okay. And that's like next. You okay. Know. Well, this is a project. It's yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, this is the car when it started. I was looking at that and I was afraid to ask. That is unbelievable. So the whole. We can get that on camera. That is the whole car has been built out of all brand new panels. The only thing I really used was the roof, the firewall, and the rockers. Okay. Everything else is just all new panels. Okay. Promise the last question. Uh, thinking about a roll cage or bar? Or no, like I don't that? want a roll bar. It's just a. It's just like a street machine. It's not a race car. It's just like a. It's like a boulevard cruiser, not a race car. It's okay, just a uh, hot rod muscle car. I, didn't, I know you had mirrors on the side, but did you do anything to tie the unibody together or anything? Yes, it has tubular subframe connectors. Okay, Dad, I, I'm sorry with the sunglasses. I didn't see it. It's probably yep, reflecting okay. in the mirror, but That's I okay. wanted to ask you about it before I walked away. Mm -hmm. Dude, I'm going to grab a hand. Oh, thank you. One of the best bills I've ever seen. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. You have fun at the Payless Show 2023. Thanks. And I was, I was going to say that he took my life. <laughs> I love it. Thanks. Hey, Clem, I think I see an old friend of yours and a nice, beautiful Studebaker. Why don't you come over here? You know what? You're right, James. This is the new era. We're post-pandemic here. Why don't you take over the camera and uh, I'll, I'll get... Uh, give me those. I'll get on the mic these. here over here. I'll put these on. We're doing a... We always love catching up with old friends and over the here. There you go, James. These guys are nuts. Here we go. I promise you only one person over here has been drinking, as far as I know right now. But we're here on our Harlem Avenue running into old friend. Can you reintroduce yourself for those that may have forgotten? I'm uh, Jack Vanek from uh, Mount Greenwood. 
A guy from <laughs> Chicago out here with all these Palos Heights people. But I, I've been coming to this uh, show for many years. I don't know exactly. I probably have to sit down and figure it out. But uh, they insist I show up with the Muppets uh, year after year. And I really enjoy it because of all the people. Uh, it isn't just other car guys. It's a bunch of people and uh, young people especially. We have a good time here. And uh, again, this year, no rain, I hope. I was going to say, we've been to a few events over here where it's been raining. We've also been to a few events in Oak Forest. Oak Fest, to be precise, where it was raining. That's, That's actually where I met you. Exactly, yeah. I was going to say. Yeah. Yes, you were a rank amateur then, but now... <laughs> You're actually one of the first interviews I remember talking about cars. You purchased one of my first uh, video discs back I in the day. I still have it. Yes, I do. <laughs> this is a true testament. And where was I going with this thought? Some things may end, but other traditions continue. That's right. That's right. As long as I'm alive, uh, <laughs> at least, uh, you, you know, you show up, shake hands and uh, hope to see you again. True too, and let's talk about the car real quick here. The Muffets is a long-standing tradition. Many generations are watching that, including the current babies that are born today. Yeah, yeah this, uh, these are the, are the adult version, really. Uh, the little kids uh, enjoy seeing them, but most of them don't, don't have a clue who they yeah, are. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know. But, uh, when did you get the car? I got the car in 07. And then uh, my wife found the uh, <laughs> found Kermit one time at a garage sale. <laughs> and uh, I, you can't buy any large ones, so we made them. Oh, wow. Yeah. Interesting. And, uh, and this is as many as I can make it here. I've got to drive the car, you know. That's true. What are some of the other shows you'll be going through throughout the summer? Uh, well, I've, I've been to uh, the parades on, the, on and around the 4th of July, and uh, there's only a couple more shows where I actually take them. Uh, I've got some stuff, you know, way up north and Union at the uh, train museum and that, and I don't, uh, I don't use them up at there. It's back to just the Studebaker set. <laughs> Well, I gotta say, I don't know if it's the camera or if it's you and your characters, but there is a crowd of people around here. I'm gonna let you go so you can mingle with them. I look forward to seeing you at the 21st Annual Payless Show and around the Chicago area. You're hanging with Clem and the Muppets at Payless Heights Car Show. Thank you. Yeah, why not? All they're, right. They're prescription. Let me see. Let me see how bad this is. Oh, I, it's foggy, all right, guys. No, no, no. no oh, no, no. oh, I. Can you see the big E? Ah, uh, E F P T O Z. Hey. I'm not gonna go the rest of the way without that. There you go. Hold on. I got you. I got you. Get all those smears off of there. By the way, who are we talking to right now? Uh, we are Premier Family Vision Care. Okay. Um, and what's located? We are uh, about two blocks down the block here, 12131 uh, South Harlem Avenue. Okay. And what yep. sort of exciting things are you showing to the public? Um, that we uh, we have great glasses. We have a wonderful doctor, Dr. Narboni, who is our doctor in the office. She's fantastic. And um, we're just a really great family, uh, you know. I'm catching that right away. Yeah. We're, we're, <laughs> we're all very, this you know. like a yes. sorority here. I know. It's pretty fun. We, we no, all fun. No, Sir. We're very professional. We are a group of young professionals. Yes. Okay. Yes, it's myself, yes. Dr. Ludi. Yes. Um, we own the practice. We're entering our fourth year here. We well, love Payless Heights. You took my next question. Yeah. Fourth year in practice. Very good. Well, no, That's we've been you. practicing combined almost 30 years. But okay. at this location, <laughs> we have a lot of doctor years together. But uh, at this location, we're four years. Terrific. Yeah. And I assume you take most insurances as well. Absolutely. Okay. BSP, IMED, uh, some Davis. So your team is ready to fire this stuff off. Oh, oh yeah. yes. She's yes. prepared. That's my
my I'm the office manager, That's so. Right. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Anyhow, listen, enjoy this Payless Cruise Night. Thank you. It's probably one of the biggest we've seen in a while. So. It is. Awesome. Anybody that's not here needs to come. This is okay, awesome. you heard it from the doctor. You should have been here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, take care. Have a great night. Let's get some, we'll do a quick interview. You didn't know you are going to do this, right? <laughs> She's on the left of the car, so. That's what I was going to ask, which one of the car enthusiasts? This is Steve from uh, Supernatural, the Chevy Impala. Oh! That's why she loves it, yeah. <laughs> okay, we ran into a couple of car connoisseurs, but we, we got a little story here. First, your name. Uh, Taylor. Okay, and you just said something about Supernatural? She loves uh, the Chevy Impala from Supernatural. It is so cool. That's a 66 there, but... And your name? I'm Liz. Okay, so you guys make a lot of shows, or are you just hanging out tonight? Hanging uh, out just tonight. hanging out. My dad's got a booth over there, so... Oh, cool. What, yeah. What's he into? He uh, runs uh, the automotive department at Marine Valley. Oh! So, yeah. Sure, yep. sure. <laughs> okay. Well, we just saw you out looking at the hardware, and we thought, we got to say hello, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's summer night. That's what it's all about, yeah. listening to the music and looking at these cars, so... Enjoy yourself. Yeah, you too. All right, thank you. Okay, Clem just found a super 440 Magnum. Looks like a 71 to me. We're going to find out more about it. 72. Just got the signal. And the owner's right here in your name. Uh, Phil Lundquist. How long have you had this beauty with the Ram Air there? Ten years. Okay, to get it to where it looks like tonight for this show, what, where do we start? What do you mean? No, I just, uh, is, it, is it a Midwestern car to begin with? No, it's from El Paso. Okay. Yeah. And you've had it for a few years? Uh, yeah, I bought it from a friend of Florida that, that didn't, didn't finish it, and then I finished the car. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. Cool. I finished the car ten years ago. Okay, good thing. Uh, you sort of a Mopar guy, you've always worked with Mopars, or this was just an opportunity for you? No, I got all Mopars. Excellent. Yeah. What do you think of that 440 Magnum versus the 426 Hemi? Uh, doesn't really make a difference, it all depends what you put in the motor. Okay. I, got, I got a stroker in here, 5, one, 525 okay. stroker. Wow. Yeah. Okay, uh, Torque Flight Trans or something special yeah. going on? Yeah, Torque Flight, 727 uh, Trans, Dana rear end. Okay. Yeah. It's not a race car. It's just a, it's just a, it's just a basic cruiser. I know, but it looks so, it looks so badass, you know. Yeah. But it's the wheels, you know. Oh yeah, the you offset. Nice, nice choice on the rims and tires. Wheels in the back, you know. It makes. You know. Okay. Uh, I like the up, upgrade you did on the brakes as well. Yeah, that makes it look. Yeah, right. The brakes, the front brakes and stuff. It all kind of makes it look better too. Now on that Dana rear end, how tall is the gear back there? Uh. 355. Okay, that's not bad for cruising. Right. You know, that's I mean, the way that's what was in it, so I didn't change it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great idea. And last thing, the interior. Uh anything special you had to do there or? No, I just uh, got the covers and put them on there. And okay. just kind of painted the, the, the it, door panels. It looks great. Yeah. And the paint painted, looks great. painted the dash pad and stuff. No. Okay. Yeah, that's about it. I did the whole car. Like so. No kidding, you didn't sub out anything. No, everything I did, I do all my cars. My hat's off to you, dude. Yeah, that's the fruits of your labor really show through. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm serious. Anyhow, thanks for taking yeah, the time. I know sure. you're sitting here chilling with some friends, having a cold one, and yeah. But this car had to be talked about. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, have a good show. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you know, so many too, too many cool Vipers, too many ones out there that are blue and white, but this one is a killer. This is yellow and black. I kind of sense a little Oak Forest connection here, and I ran into an old friend. And your name, friend? Kevin, Jim. Kevin, all right. Listen, uh, every time, we had to wait a few minutes to talk to him because there's a crowd around this car, and we're going to show you why. First of all, how, many, how long have you had it now? Uh, it's one year, about a year since my midlife crisis. Okay. <laughs> you mean the opportunity of a lifetime, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. 
you have taken this so far. This car is such a nice piece. I, I don't know where to start. Uh, how does this hood open, by the way? Secret from the side. Okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. Gorgeous. Uh, is that is that the normal she thing that's on top of the? So it comes with the, the X brace. Uh, this one was blacked out, I think, by the previous owner. Okay. Engine covers are painted again. Usually the red factory, but yeah. Later on, they did a lot of custom stuff. Yeah. This totally. is a thirteen. I mean, Papa, wouldn't I'm thinking totally custom. I don't know why, but I haven't seen that many Vipers up close, so I'm a little novice at that. Tell us about the cubic inch displacement and. Uh, 8.4 liters. I think it's roughly 513 cubes in there. 10 okay. cylinders. American muscle. Yeah, totally. And also, uh, what about the tranny in the rear end? Uh, Six-speed manual. And uh, I think the rear ends are low. I think they're like a 320. Okay, or which low. is a good, good high weight. You can have fun with yeah. this thing with that six-speed manual. There's but plenty of power to spin a, a I was three just going to yeah. say, uh, you want to get on the Interstate 57 and drive the speed limit. Absolutely, and mm -hmm. not spin a model on gas. Yeah. Yes, correct. It, so, it gets definitely gallons per mile. I, I have heard that about Vipers, and everybody thinks, oh man, V12, V, you know, or whatever, big, you know, big cubic inch displacement. Yeah, well, like Ferrari's big V12 is like five and a half liters. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, this, good point. Yeah. And big let's, and big. let's migrate to the back end because I've always loved the back end of these cars. So cool. Did you do anything with modifications to the taillights or anything, yeah. uh, like with LED bulbs or anything like no, that? No, this is how it all came from the factory. Previous okay. owner um, put the ACR uh, strakes on the bottom. The yeah, okay, that's for aerodynamics and yeah. stuff? Other than that, it's just some of the cosmetic stuff. It's been PDF, uh, PPF, so it's got the paint protection film over yeah. the whole car. I mean, it's, fantastic. it's like a mirror, man. It's, it's it unbelievable. It clean, super easy. And I kind of dig your custom license plates there. Just uh, put it on today. Southside south guy, huh? Yep. Yeah, yeah. We'll get a little bracket, black it out a little bit more, but... Anyhow, in season, I know you're super busy and stuff. You get to make a lot of shows with your Viper. I've been enjoying the cars and coffee a lot, the early morning shows. That's what I hear a lot of guys are doing this year. Uh, the next this, one they're has popping been up everywhere, mm -hmm. and I, uh, more popular than I've ever seen in previous years you know so yeah you get fresh and early and everyone's wide and awake and having a coffee and okay enjoying it and uh with with your job is it like uh six uh, 12 hours on 12 hours off or how do, uh, do you have to follow a path or as far as my employment yes well, eight hour days eight, okay i'm sorry i thought no. you followed more like the, the office yeah, yeah, they have a longer day now. Okay, yeah, I thought you that. guys had a curl all that. Mm -hmm. No, still, yeah, eight hour no, days, thank four God. on, two off, so <laughs> yeah. weekends okay. change up all the time. Okay, okay. The graveyard must be a lot of fun, too, right? <laughs> Anyhow, getting back to the car, love it, enjoy it every time you see it. And one last thing, did you do anything to those rims to get that, that, that sort of satin sheen? You know, the satin sheen is actually, uh, I think, brake dust covering them. I think they're slightly dirty. They are a matte black from the factory, I, okay. but it's definitely got a layer of extra matte from the brake dust. Okay, but I yes. knew something was up. I knew that they were matte, <laughs> and, and I thought, I thought rims, maybe, yes. no. A little dirty. I'm not calling matte it. Matte black rims, though, yes, from the factory. And I, I just thought it was it just nice. It's a nice set off, mm -hmm. you know. But anyhow, listen, I'm going to grab a hand, dude. Thank Enjoy you. You every again. time you bring this out. Yes, sir. Bye. See you again. You bet. Take care. Thank you, guys. AC Variety. <laughs> okay, we're just stumbling across. We see a lot of nice custom cars, some trailer queens, I might add. <laughs> But this baby, this is the real McCoy. We just found the owners, and your name? Bo. Bo, and who's this young lady sitting in the chair over there? That's my girlfriend, Shelby. This is Shelby? Hi. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Okay, just fine. We don't want to so we're going to go back to Bo. Okay, so, okay, we'll be back for the finale, though. Okay, take me through this drivetrain. First of all, how long have you had the car, and then take me through the drivetrain. So, I've owned the car since 2014. Okay. Um, it's been through a few different setups. This one is a, it's a 408 stroker, wow. twin turbo, um, power glide trans, still the 8.8 rear end, um, okay. narrowed, 
nine inch rear end, or nine inch ends and all that. Yeah. Um, so you got to tuck yeah. a lot of rubber in there. Too, yeah, you know, mini tubbed. So. so. Yeah, I figured as much. <laughs> okay. Uh, for the most part, is it is it uh, metal with except for a few aluminum pieces or? Yeah. So it's all pretty much factory uh, body panels except for the hood and okay. then the sheet metal work that I did to it. Okay. Uh, if I can ask you, uh, do you go eighth mile tracks, quarter mile tracks? Uh? I, I set it up for quarter mile. I haven't had a chance to make a full pass in the car yet. I mostly okay. just cruise around on the street and okay. enjoy it. Uh, do you ever get stopped? Because uh, obviously you're, you're shooting open header out I, the front fenders. I haven't yet. <laughs> okay, so you just kind of know when to take your foot out of it a little bit yeah, and cruise, I don't, cruise yeah, by? And... I try not to mess around too much when to make it obvious. Okay, and uh, I'm trying to think of last question. Okay, you did pull the back seat. I wasn't sure because the windows were tinted. Yeah. Okay, uh, how do you like being, I know the notchback guys and then the fastback hatch guys. What Do you, do you like this body style? Yeah, I like it. I Is think it good for aerodynamics for your package. Yeah, I and I personally like them better than the the notch bags. They just they look more like a, a complete car to me. Yeah, I I write it doesn't have a little turtle neck on it. Yeah, like, yeah. Know. And it to me it just makes sense. It looks like it's more aerodynamics. So. Yeah. Anyhow, I'm gonna run over to the better half real fast over here. She thought she was getting away with this. As far as those seats in there, Shelby, how's the creature comfort in that passenger seat? Very comfortable. Really? I, th I thought yes. you were going to say... 11 out of 10. Wow. 11 <laughs> out of 10. You got her trained really well. Okay. And uh, I was going to say, as far as... Uh, can you guys talk while he's driving because of the engine time? Pretty much... I think we get conversations done pretty nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I, get I might have to scream a little, but it's okay. Well, I can see how <laughs> that too. Anyhow, listen, you guys have been great sports. Uh, you would sit here and I interrupted you, but uh, you have an exceptional car here. And like I said, there's a lot of trailer queens here yeah. today. This is the real deal that, that happens on the street, that happens on a track, and I wanted to give you time. So I'm going to grab a hand, dude. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Good job, Joe. By the way, I like the ink. I thought that was gorgeous. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, we like going through some nice Mustangs, especially Fox Body Series and uh, vintage years, and this falls under that category. This Cobra is a bad street machine. We're going to find out more about it. We got the owners right here, your name? Uh, my name is Neil. And? Veronica. And who's this handsome lad here? Oh, um, Neil. Neil, okay. Yeah. Okay. See, we've got the name right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. How long have you had this Cobra? I've had this Cobra since uh, 21 of November. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, was it like this when you got it? Was it a Midwestern car to begin it with? It was. I uh, found it. I've been searching Facebook for greater part of a decade. I can believe that. Uh, just kind of trying to figure out the timing with everything and uh, ended up finding it up in Green Bay. Uh, oh. Basically, the whole country was looking for it and I was one of the closest guys in Chicago. Wow. So, fired up, nice. fired up my uh, four-wheel drive F-150, grab, grabbed a U-Haul trailer and went up to Green Bay and picked it up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nobody could get to it, so. Yeah, I, evidently the price was right as well. The price is right. The price is right. Uh, price with mileage at the time in November of 21 was probably the best in the country. And I haven't, okay. come, I haven't come across one since. So, uh, yeah. it, it makes me yeah. happy. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. Sure. yeah. yeah. Uh, so how do you like banging those gears? Uh, <laughs> it's a little noisy. No, okay, it's great. Okay. It goes really fast. Gets me to the store and back. Yeah. <laughs> it's a grocery yeah. getter, right? Yeah. 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 And, 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 and superb style, I might add too. Yeah. Uh, everything is so nice about this car. I, you know, from the interior to uh, was that the original paint? If you do some porcelain work on that paint no or? no this is uh, original paint uh, original everything for the most part um, yeah I'm, I'm pretty happy with no, how I, it is I'm it could show you. a little better on the front end um, but you know it's uh, I'll give it some love yeah, well both of you will like hey, yeah <laughs> yeah and your song so. yeah yeah anyhow uh, before I leave you uh, what 
sort of, do you make a lot of shows with it or do you sort of, obviously you don't drive it in the winter. But. Yeah, I don't drive it in the winter. Uh, we try to make this Payless show every okay. year. Okay. Uh, last year was the first one I missed in a handful of years. I have a 2000 Lightning uh, that I've made, a, I've made a show every okay. year with, with a Kenny Bell on it. And, Dude, that's an uh, excellent truck. Yeah, it's also black paint with chrome rims. Uh, okay. So I got the matching pair. and uh, they, they must look nice when you show them together, when you can. I haven't shown them together yet. Okay. Uh, so hopefully soon. She'll she'll take the Lightning and I'll take the Cobra and, uh, and we'll make I, an appearance I, I'm together. I'm seeing world of wheels in your future. Here yeah. Right? yeah. Uh, well, one step at a time, right? Yeah, Rome wasn't built in a day. No, it wasn't. And, yeah. And you've got a nice start here. And, yeah, thank you. Good luck and enjoy every time you show this car. I appreciate it. And thanks so much for stepping up. Of course, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Stay with us. We got more coming at the 2023 Payless Rod and Custom Show. No, it's a screws night. Let's go. Girls. Bye. Go ahead, continue where you're <laughs> We got time for one more before we take a little short break. Yeah. yeah. yeah.
wonderful time here at the Payless Heights Car Show and we didn't even make it across Harlem Avenue yet so we need a quick break so cool down and we'll be back to see what other cool rides there are at Payless. I want to thank Ron Santoro for letting me sit inside of his vehicle and he's a full service real estate agent agent infinity properties infinity that's the name I know hi I'm Jason and I'm Tia. I'm Adrian. I'm Taylor. And you're hanging with Clem. Is this yours? Okay. It's the only one here, right? I was just. <laughs> and you won, sir. <laughs> no, I was. It is the only one here. I okay. Believe. I Folks at home, we just found the owner. I was just going to do a talk over on my memory of the car. Uh, Anyhow, but this is the best shape Tornado 66 I've seen in a while. And yeah. I, I got to ask you about, let's back up over here. Where did you get those wheels chromed like that? Was it? Those are factory. It was a factory option. Okay, I don't so, see that that often. I'll, 
I'll prove it to you. The spare is chrome. Okay. No, no, no. I believe. I believe you. I just, I just don't on a lot of the street applications so, of this car. This part wasn't chrome, just the cap was. Yes, it was. You're exactly right. But if you ordered the chrome wheel, you got chrome wheels and the chrome cap. Wow. Major difference. So, so he ordered that, but he didn't order a power antenna. That bothers me. <laughs> he ran out of toe after Yeah, that. yeah. The wheels were it. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, just the body lines on this car is just so dynamic. And uh, what's the mileage on it now? 41,000 original. Okay. And how's the, the front wheel drive still reacting okay for you? Very powerful. Okay. 375 I, horsepower. I remember seeing in an old hot rod magazine a vintage one this guy had. Somebody dragging, drag racing a car like this. And Thank you. Gotcha. Oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah, buddy, I didn't see you. We got friends all over here. Okay. He's at, uh, it's at home. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, actually smoking the front wheels. The hood was off, he's doing a quarter mile run, and smoke is just pouring up. It will smoke the wheels. Yeah, smoke, yeah. 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 I'm Slicks, too. You know, just blowing it. Let, yeah. Let's go up to the rear of the car, because he's going to pull out, and I have some I questions about the taillights. Okay. Holy shit! I tell you? Whoa, excuse us. Do you usually draw a crowd around the car like this going on? I don't take it to many shows, but okay. I feel like I should be. I got people look, <laughs> got this gentleman just looked in the inside of your car and went, holy S word. Yeah, <laughs> I guess that's a compliment. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Anyhow, uh, significance to the license plate there. Last name, Durkin. Oh, okay, love it. What I always like about this and last comment is just the curvature. And uh, just the way the taillights are set mm -hmm. in the bumper, the, the slight curvature of the bumper. Uh, I know it came. Original exhaust. I was just going to say original this exhaust. It's actually the original exhaust. Oh my God, I can't believe the it. The entire exhaust system's original. Right. A few years ago, last comment, at a World of Wheels, I actually saw one there and it was, it was trick painted along the body lines, which you have some excellent lines, you know. But they had, you know, sort of like a, a fade in, fade yeah, out. Yeah. And it was gorgeous. But this is the most pu best looking pure so, stock I've seen. So these these quarter panels right. were too big in 66 to stamp is one. So, so what they it's, do? It's, it's three Where's sections. the seam? No kidding. There's a seam here and there's a seam here. Wow. I never knew that. I, so I of course were, I always thought were, it was all hand blended then. So each car is wow. basically when you stop and think that's a big piece of metal. Basically unique. There was no way, there wasn't machinery enough to stamp that as one piece. Wow. With that, with that curve in there. Yeah, this was, this and the Eldorado were very dynamic. I have to say I prefer this, but yeah. you know. Anyhow, at this point, I'm gonna grab a hand and shake it there, okay. buddy. thank you. Thanks for walking up, All showing right. us this car, and uh, enjoy it every time you bring it out. Yeah, thank you. All right, so Okay, one of the cool things about doing the Payless 2023 is you run into old friends. And I think Sarah's you're an old friend, right? Give us your name one more time. My name's Sarah. Okay, Sarah and My name's Claire. Okay, so you guys just hanging out tonight? Yes. yes. Okay. What brings you to the show every year? Um, well I am a local. I live right down the block. So. Okay, there we go. Yeah. How about you? Do you have a preference in cars or you like cars in general? Um, I do. My favorite is a red Corvette. Really? Okay, I can dig that too. So, uh, you don't personally both own a car right now, right? I do. Oh, what do you have? I just have a Chevy Trek, a 2020. That'll get you there. Yeah, I share it with my brother, so okay. it's nothing special. It's the body system. I used to share one with my sister, so I know the, yeah. I know the deal. So anyhow, uh, in the years you've been coming, tonight, it seemed to me it was like super crowded. Do I have that right or wrong? Right, you're correct. Okay. It's just like there's more cars, would you agree? I would agree. I've never been here before, but oh, okay. I, I was not expecting this. So. Yeah, it's like we're just now 
we've been here for hours. We're just now getting to this side of the street. Wow. So it was like super busy. Yeah. And last thing, any shout out of uh, friends or where do you go to school? Um, I'd like to shout out to Timmy, my brother. Okay, hey, that's sweet. And Sarah? Um, I'll shout out to my brother Joe and my friend Cece. You guys are too good. Two good family girls. We love it. Thanks for coming up. Thank we're, you for having me. We're friends of AC Variety. Anytime you see us, stop us. You're on the air. Okay. All right. Thank Stay you. with us. All of us are going to look around and see some more cars. <laughs> That's a wrap. Okay, the night has fallen, but it is so cool right now because we have all kind of fun vehicles. We have a, a one of a kind, as far as I've ever seen, fire vehicle. We, we just found out the owner. We just caught up with him. We're going to find out more about it. And your name? My name is Andrew Frost. Andrew, wow. This, I've seen it around at a couple other shows. Never been able to get to you fast enough. Uh, I, where did you find this? And first of all, the make and model and the little history on it. So I found this down in Nashville, Tennessee. Wow. Uh, I purchased it through Duncan Imports. It is a 1995 Toyota Hiace. And these vehicles are purchased and converted over to fire trucks uh, for the fire department over there. Um, a lot of them, they kind of pick and choose what parts of the bed they want. Okay. So how versatile, what they want for it. Like as far as you want ladder stands and ladder holders and, and the pump and whatnot. Sure. Um, but this, th this vehicle has a five-speed uh, transmission, it has a diesel, and it's four-wheel drive, and that was the primary uh, eye-catcher for me. Okay. Uh, I like vehicles that I could kind of do a little bit of anything with. Right. And the, the fact that it's a fire truck was just, the fact that it was a fire truck was just a cherry on top, really. I, every, every boy and then guy's dream, <laughs> kind of, I, I was always fascinated with fire trucks. Absolutely. As a kid growing up, you never grow out of it. Um, I noticed it's got the crew cab. Was there other configurations you could do on ordering this? Or? For the high ace, yes, but were they fire trucks? I'm not sure. Okay. There are just a single cab, okay. high ace. Probably um, a special application for that. But perhaps. every, I, there was a few different uh, makes and models. I know Honda made a few, few that were two seaters. Okay. Small, 1100 pound fire trucks okay. that I've seen. But they all, uh, Nissan makes the Atlas and stuff like that. They all sure. have little different configurations for them. A uh, quick question too, does this share a platform with another Toyota production vehicle? Just the high ace, the vans and stuff like that. Okay, because um, it looks very heavy duty. So it is a one ton truck and a lot of the parts are interchangeable from things like the Land Cruiser, the Tundra and the Hilux. Okay. Or Helix, depending on how you pronounce it. But okay. uh, the motor was not used here in Northern America. It's a 2.4 liter diesel four cylinder. Wow. And as far as I'm aware, not even any Toyota construction equipment or anything like that. Wow, that's interesting. Um, certain things are, uh, such as the oil filter and the fuel filter, they came off of Toyota construction equipment here in America, okay. in North America. But, oh, always a heavy duty application. But I've actually met a few people here tonight who are from Central and Southern America who said that they remember seeing something very similar like this to there. So it, it seems to be just excluded from the North American market. And it's amazing how Toyota does that, distributes to different parts of the world and, and never never hits North America. I'm just grateful certain things are still interchangeable, like the brakes come out from the Tundra and the axles are out of the uh, the Land Cruiser and stuff like that. Right. It's, you know, I can still get away with some stuff. And of course, this is right, right hand drive. Right? Yes, right. of course. Now I'm looking, last cu couple of questions. Uh, are those locking front hubs? They Where are. Lock and unlock? Yep. Okay, so it's not a, it's not a full time, which is kind of good. It doesn't have to be full time. You know? It is. Um, I, I would think it'd be better on mileage, but you know. But, uh, oh, it, it definitely makes a difference that it's not. Uh, but I mean, it is annoying at the same time because you get stuck somewhere. You gotta get you out. You gotta and get out. And you gotta yeah. Okay. But the that's the game you play. I'm looking at a battery in a tray. Is that where the? Correct. <laughs> the battery is there. There's a little panel underneath the rear uh, seat. Okay, like an inspection. Please yes. Um, and you pop that up if you wanted to change the battery out. However, if you if it's just low or you want to throw a tender on it that little battery box off to the side there's two terminal posts in there so that, that you just hook that, up to there you go so there's your trickle charge whatever absolutely you want to do. brilliantly brilliantly laid out <laughs> anyhow can we just take a look in the back once absolutely this this piece of equipment here is for this is what they would use uh, to spray fires now, Japanese fire hydrants, they look like wells, and they fill up like wells. Okay. And you would throw this basket end of the okay. hose okay, that's your in pickup. there. 
Um, now you can operate, you can choose to operate this in the bed of the truck or. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's got handles on each corner. Okay, so it's a two man job, right? Or four, depending, yeah, you know. I was gonna say it looks like a weighs a ton. Um, it's, it's about the size of a small engine block, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, no, I, it ain't I, easy getting it up and yeah. on and off. It but takes just a two man The yeah. ease in which you slid it further back as well. But it, interesting about yeah. the, the, the uh, water for putting out a fire is in a deep, uh, semi deep well that you have a, a pickup hose. Correct. Interesting concept and how it works, and it probably works quite efficiently. Um, I've also been told that you know they throw the basket on there not because um, just for the versatility of the fact that if it's not a fire hydrant, and they have a lake nearby or a pool. Oh yeah, that's they can use all source. of that stuff. Sure um, but it's also there so that it doesn't, I guess, suck up any garbage or anything oh, that would you know potentially it's damage go into your them. Yeah. And all that. yeah, exactly. Anyhow. But, at this point, I want to thank you a thousand percent. Of course. I've seen, I've seen the vehicle a couple of times and never really knew who owned it. Tonight was a golden opportunity. <laughs> you, said, you said you weren't quick enough to find me. I don't know how. This thing's not fast. You could run this I down on foot. I think it was a matter of you left already and it's like you weren't in sight anymore. I thought, yeah. okay, I guess I waited too long. So, anyway, I'm going to grab a hand, buddy. Thank you very Enjoy much. Enjoy every time you bring this out. This of is course. a showstopper. It's really, really cool. <laughs> I've had children and, and, oh and God, people yeah. climbing all up inside of it, taking tons of pictures. Yeah. I've enjoyed it as much as they have I today. Bet. I because bet. It, you know, it makes me smile knowing people love it oh, just as much yes. as I do. Yes. Okay, as the sun is setting over here, we're having some sweet goodbyes over here, but oh, yeah. <laughs> But nothing sweeter than this Mustang, the 69, and we finally found the owner. Busy, busy, busy. But anyhow, uh, in your name? Linda Russo. Linda, okay. Uh, I'm just knocked out with this car, the accent paint, the pinstriping. How long have you had it? All right, so we bought it in Las Vegas. For sure? Really? Yeah. Me and my husband. My husband's right. past. I'm sorry. So I have my boyfriend, but that's okay. okay so okay. we bought it in Vegas. It did not look like this. Brought it back home, and my husband and a friend redid it. Totally, completely. Um, the color he wanted it was this pinstripe. Okay. And the guy who was doing it said, "Let me do this, and if you don't like it, I'll repaint it that color." So okay. we did this color, and we loved it. It does have a standout. Yeah. It does. You yeah. Know, totally. So it's got a 351 Cleveland. Okay. So you got my next question. All Sorry. Right. Automatic trans. Six. It's a five-speed. Okay, I could, it's so dark I couldn't get in. Yeah, it's okay, it's a five-speed. Okay, uh, I like the selection of the wheels, the aluminum. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that was his pick okay. back in the day when they redid uh, it. Just the right offset? Yeah. Uh, do you recall the rear end gear ratio or anything like that? It's like a 373? 331. Yeah. 331? Okay, that's a good, that's a good gear. It's, you know, it's okay for the highway and it's okay to give you a little performance, but not going to kill you at the gas tank. Yeah, so when I first started driving it, it was manual steering. Oh, so yeah. I pulled into car shows and oh. I was struggling, right? My muscles were like this. So then we turned it. Okay, well, that's a car steering Okay. Yeah. And it's like, How did that work I, out? It worked out great. Okay. Oh my God, because I pulled into here, I'm like, yay! Yeah, I bet. <laughs> to go back to the factory Ford power steering system would have been over a grand and the electric power steering was cheaper. So it was easier to put on, cheaper, and it's hidden underneath the dash. Wow, I would because I was just gonna I was gonna ask what system did you put on it? Because I know the Ford one has got yeah, a bunch of garbage on the front. Exactly. There. It's an EPAS system. You can get it from uh, CJ Pony. They sell a lot of companies sell it nowadays, but okay. it's the same kind of setup that's on modern cars. It's an electric uh, motor that actually hooks to the bottom. You gotta modify the steering column, but yeah. By pulling the column out, you don't mess with the gearbox or any of the steering components under the hood. Excellent. No, so no, it makes, yeah. No extra lines. Exactly. Everywhere. So this used to be a four speed. Okay. So and so then we it to switched a... to a five speed yeah, for the overdrive good. because, you know, I was like, you know, 50 e. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. The RPMs are going to be up. So up there. now it's, it's no, so lovely. Yes. Okay. Now the steering is like variable ratio, so it's really. Oh, my easy God. To... Well, we came in the wrong way here. Yeah. So it was, I'm like, so you had to oh, do crazy it was so nice. Around. Just so easy. It was just beautiful. So you don't miss this. <laughs> no, I don't. Anyhow, last, 
Last question. Do you guys have an opportunity to take it out and show it a lot during we the do. season? We do. We go to a lot of car shows like that okay. car there. So the two of them okay, the get along. Okay. Right? Oh, that's terrific. <laughs> so they get along and yeah, we try to hit it as many car shows as we can. Okay. It's nice. It's fun. It's Thank a legacy. No, it is. And it's it's special, and uh, yes. you guys are taking it to the next level now, too. Yes. So. It's still about it, and the cars never stop, because there's always companies that are coming out with new aftermarket parts, and oh, yeah. what you thought one year was this is good, and something new comes out, you're like, I like that better now. Yeah. But you, know, you can keep spending money till the cost of them on any of these cars. Yeah. I have had somebody tell me, you know you're never done. Yeah, you're yeah, right. It's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah so. so, but thank you. Like I said, this is a legacy, so yeah. it lives Enjoy. Up. Anyhow, yeah, thanks so much for stepping up Thank and like you. I said, enjoy. And have a great show, the balance of the night. Oh my God, it turned out to be a beautiful night. night. Awesome. All right. Stay with us, we're gonna wrap things up. Hey, wrap it up. <laughs> 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 Thank you. We, we on? We're gonna get some names. I got an audio. Wait, names? For what? You know, like your first name. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to ask those questions? Yes, there'll be a quiz. Oh, okay, okay. okay. They're down for a quiz. But first, we're going to find out our contestants tonight are... Katie, Amber, Gabby, Allison. And what is the drink of choice tonight? Tito's Lemonade. Do you agree with that? Yes. Okay. And, but... I disagree. Sangria. Whoa. She's a loser. South of the border over here. I got Tito's lemonade also. Okay. Well, Tito's is winning right now. But Okay, so how long have you been at that table? A lot of bottles on that table. Not our... Honestly, oh, yeah. honestly though, we've been at that table 45 minutes because they've been eating pizza. And pasta. There must have been one hell of a slice. Yeah. 45 minutes. What a Capri. What a Capri. Oh. They're good. They're good. So, do you come up here every year for this thing? Yes, I've been here for three years. Each okay. year, three years, yeah. Okay, how about yourself? I just moved here a year ago, so no. <laughs> no regrets, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Especially with this crew. I, yeah, know. absolutely. Okay, is she cool to hang with? Yeah. Okay. Yes. You're, in. You're totally in, you know. She's my yeah. best friend, are you kidding? We, we're teachers. And we oh. met teaching. Yeah, she's okay, my best like, friend. Like middle school or? No, kindergarten. kindergarten and preschool. Oh, got my yeah. hats off to you. That's not God an easy bless. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm in preschool. I'm in preschool and she's in kindergarten. Yeah. T-shirts. What, what year? I'm in preschool and she's in kindergarten. Okay. Well, also we have uh, very rewarding, but probably there. very taxing. I can remember so my kids show, were, you know. But honestly, we love them. The kids, we treat them like they're our own. It, it is a special calling. It's a vocation. I couldn't. I, I mean, I was a good dad, but I could not be a good dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's your thing. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, what district? District 92. Yeah. I don't know where that is. Lockport. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm used to one something. And... <laughs> well, I'm from Chicago, so I this is all. Yeah, we stole her to the suburbs. <laughs> wow, never go back. Yeah, right. No. No. I'm gonna go back. No. No, 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 really. No, I grew up in the south side of Chicago. I just Where? I kind of and around the Beverly area. Okay, nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, okay. I grew up in Midway Airport. Okay. Uh, my ex-wife came from that area on okay. Trip Street. Nice. Yeah, my family lives in uh, Beverly. Okay, so, I'm sorry. It was a reminiscing this moment here. <laughs> My ex is probably watching right now, I can explain. Hello, Hello Hi, Hi, it's mine. Hi, You smell that rubber burning? I don't know, but I smell exhaust. <laughs> I'd say it was another successful year. 20 years at Payless Heights for their cruise night, or car show. Uh, more fun than I can put in F-U-N. Uh, we met all sorts of people and listened to some great, great R&B music. Uh, Saw some great food, great drinks, great people. Oh, yeah, yeah, and a variety of cars and trucks. Oh, it's, it's just killer, I loved it. I can't wait to see what the next 20 years holds in store. Uh, hopefully we'll be around to see it, <laughs> that would help. All I know is I'm tired, so I'm gonna get some rest. This is Jim. And you've been hanging with Clem at Payless Heights Car Show 2023.